It has also been noted that KRA has not embraced the culture of supporting and facilitating taxpayers, alternative dispute resolution, and the deployment of efficient technologies to improve revenue performance. Let me say this again, and I'm saying it politely. You know that KRA is technology of us. In fact, it is public information that any attempt to digitize, to professionalize KRA has been met by a lot of resistance from staff in KRA. Because technology will make it easy for taxpayers to pay and there wouldn't be opportunities for people to um, collude and evade tax. And I'm saying this looking at you guys in your eyes. You know that it has been difficult to roll out technology, that it has been sabotaged by staff in carry. And it hasn't been sabotaged for any good reason. It has been sabotaged because it seals loopholes of rent-seeking, evasion, collusion, corruption, and that kind of thing. In particular, the resistance to the introduction and upgrading of revenue administration technologies is an emphatic signal of the corporate culture of an organization that is not willing to do its job, which suggests that arbitrary, opaque, and fundamentally corruptible revenue collection methods are the preferred modus operandi. It is expected that high costs will be cited as the excuse, because I keep hearing, oh, you do not, we do not have enough money to do this, we do not have enough money to do that.